Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. Today we are going to start our Nightmare Dungeon Grind with Ulder's Cave. Dungeon of Fixes, Battle Hardened, Empowered Elites, Monster Bleeding Damage, Range Defenders, and Dodge Breakers. So let's hop in here. The Barbarian's Arsenal consists of two-handed bludgeoning weapons, a two-handed slashing weapon, and a main hand and offhand pair. Barb would have been would have been a fun class to play. Oh, that might be the next one I check out. Either that or for Necro? I heard I've heard Necro good things about Necro. Nodding off. Yeah, we need to get a consumable gun. Use a lightning resist elixir here. We're getting a bit stronger though. We've been leveling up our paragon. We don't really need to use some of the items in our stash yet. I have a few items that would would be upgrades. I'm, I'm kind of just holding on to them just in case they are the best loot that we can get before the season ends. We will probably get level 100. Should. We've got over uh, nine days. A little bit less than that. Eight days. Mm -hmm. As long as we get uh, a level a day, we should be all right. Won't have much time to fight Ubalos, but give it a try. But I think one day of Ubalos should be more than enough time to uh, get enough attempts in to see if we can get her down. Yeah, hopefully we just have the gear to do it. I think the build we have is good for it. You know, it's got good single target. That's usually what single target damage, and that's what you want when you're fighting a boss. And we have some good elixirs for it. We have the 900 armor elixirs. They're great for boss fights. Help us with our survivability. I need more time. Yeah, one more. <laughs> there we go. It needs time to recharge.
Oh, there it is. Get the shrine after this. We have to slay all the enemies in the hideout. We'll head down here and make sure we first. Oh, there we go. Lethal Shrine, nice. It needs time to recharge. Dungeon kind of reminds me of Ulter's Cave. Felt like the same layout almost. Less mobs though. There's a lot more. I think the mob density is uh, is higher in domain tunnels. And there's it's not too high here. I think there's actually going to be an increase in mob density, right? Season two. I know they're changing the routes. Of dungeons to make them more, I guess you could say, linear. There isn't as many. Like, you know, instances where you have to backtrack to complete, you know, objectives, but they're removing objectives as well. So there won't really be any backtracking at all. Alright, here we go. The ring leader. Let's see what we get. I wonder why they keep giving us barbarian tips. Upon reaching level 5 as a barbarian, you'll gain expertise with the weapon you're type you are using. Which has level 62. That's one hell of a grind he has if he wants to hit level 100. This guy's doing the same thing as me, he's selling loot. Seeing if he gets lucky. Hopefully he does, and hopefully I do as well. Unusual, but a good addition to my wares. The lucky hit stats. Well, I would like that. Always smart. I think the the builds, like I think stats, are going to be the, another thing that can hopefully you know create new builds in this game. Always smart to buy surprise inventory. So they do have a lot of stats that increase, like, you know, cold okay. damage, poison damage, different types of damage, thorns damage as well. Let's check out the legendaries here. Yeah, nothing there. 
We got another razor plate, speaking of thorns. This one's not as good as the other one we have, though. And we got some legendary, ancestral legendary gloves. It does not have stats or aspect that we want. We should hit level 93 next dungeon. And drop off some gems in the stash here. All of these will be going to our material tab. Once season two comes out. So what dungeon should we do now? Let's see what we got here. We have a lot of dungeons. Shifting city. Yeah, we'll do shifting city. Why not? I haven't done Shifting City in a while. There might be a reason why I haven't done it in a while, though. <laughs> it's probably not the greatest dungeon, but we'll see. See what it's like. Not too bad. Actually, all right. Just gotta get the pedestals here. And I think the rooms where the pedestals are, there's like a bunch of elites, from what I remember. Could be another dungeon. go. Pedestal number two. Yeah, it's going to be really easy just to run through all these dungeons. Like, leveling glyphs is going to be easy, man. It's so easy. One thing I hope they do is, I hope you could have, like, uh, multiple builds and and loot setups in your stash. Kind of like, I don't know. They had it in um, three. Where you can like change your build and, and your loot. Just a click of a button. Because that would be good if you had like a lift leveling set and build where you just have like focus on movement speed. And you're still able to, you know, kill the bosses. That'd be awesome, man. You can level your glyphs like pretty damn quick. I wonder what the max level you can level your glyph to. I'm gonna look that up. Let's see what we can find here. I want to see the number glyph max level. Maximum of twenty-one. 
Okay, so we're pretty damn close on uh, a lot of our glyphs here. So yeah, it wouldn't take too long at all to level your glyphs. Time you're 100, like your glyphs are pretty much almost there. Have at least like one or two, probably maxed out, or at least close to it. Seems like you just got to get them all to 15. That's like the main. Oh yeah, damn it. Forgot to uh, pick up the pedestal here. Like this spec we have right here is pretty damn quick. Like with the dash, if we had more dashes or like faster cooldown on our dash, we would be flying. I need more time. Time to recharge. Which armor? How much armor they get from that buff? Has to be an insane amount. They just melt after it's gone. <laughs> I think City's not bad. Happy we jumped in this dungeon. Probably just do another dungeon we haven't done in a while after this one. Pick that up earlier. <laughs> Kamikaze. That was a close one. Okay, so we're missing a carrier. It's probably down here. down here we'll get another strength node and the next one yet we will be choosing another board attachment
It's a pretty good event, though. Fight a lot of mobs. I don't think we're going to pass this one, though. I'm getting hit quite a bit. We got it, actually. Looks like he's not going to turn into uh, an elite, though. All right, let's drop off this Animus. And then we'll fight the boss. See what we got here. Drop that. We'll drop that. Pick up these legendaries. Drop this. Drop this. And then we'll level up ambush again. Should have that at 15 pretty soon. Then by the time we're 100, we'll have all of our glyphs leveled to 15, and then we'll just pick the ones we want to keep on leveling up probably keep on leveling probably get one more level for turf just to max it out why not no we're not getting too much xp from it though might be better off leveling up the other glyphs takes us longer to level Don't that one up so it might not be cool. worth it uh, why not That's good for me. You have a deal. Got a lot of it legendaries. Well. You need steel work, repairs. Oh, nice, uh, nice roll on that uh, aspect. We'll probably hold on to it because of that. It's almost perfect. Special legendary sword. Yeah, we don't want that. Special legendary amulet. Don't want the stats or the aspect. Sacred legendary crossbow. An aspect we want, but it's not. So it has a pretty low roll on it. And ancestral legendary dagger. Don't want the aspect or the stats. So at least we got a good aspect on one of the items. So we'll drop that off. And then we will hop into another dungeon. Okay, so which one should we do next? Mariner's Refuge. How about that? Not bad. Dungeon of Fixes, Physical Damage, Blood Blister. Monster Cold Damage, Monster Critical Resist, and Potion Breakers. And maybe we'll get the Paragon Point we need for the next board. Good to unlock that. Get a pretty big stat boost when you unlock a new board. Oh, 
This place kind of reminds me of uh, Surat's Lair. Gonna destroy three goddesses and then there's like a boss response in the middle. We kind of have to so much over potion breaker, so. Graphics can be a little tricky sometimes. Kind of a shock when you need to heal. You can't because your potion button's blocked. Need more time. Yeah, we have to earn this chest. Done? Oh, the blood blister is broken. Are we done? Oh, there's a work over here. There we go. Oh, bone mass is another revenge. This is probably like the easiest event in the game, I think. Fighting skeletons that are like really slow, they're like, I think skeletons are the easiest mobs to fight in the game. And then the bone masses take like a little bit of damage and they kill <laughs> Not XP there. I'm just gonna fight the boss. I think these spirits are up there though, it's like one of the harder mobs to fight. They do a lot of damage. And they're all ranged. Kind of surprised with how it's going to do. Check the potion breakers here too. Oh, here we go. Need a lot of damage here. We got potion breakers, so I'm gonna have to get out. Try to get. There we go. Get a cooldown going. Gotta get that mob down now. Just keep running more stuff in there. 
I get that mob down? Nice. Now I gotta get out. Fade him back this way. It's a little fun. Oh no, no! I'm running into that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These guys, see what I'm saying? They do a lot of damage. They're pulling even more mobs. It's hard to deal with them with potion breakers because they just keep doing damage to you and they keep breaking your potion. There we go, we got back. There we go, that's some big damage to do right there. was a battle. Yeah, the mob type's a big one, too. Like, yeah, I bet you people, when they do tier 100 dungeons, probably pretty, like, an easy dungeon with, like, a mob type that isn't that bad to fight. The ethics is probably matter a lot as well. Like anything with like vulnerable resist, we couldn't really handle. Because we do all vulnerable damage is like the main source of our of damage for our build. Potion breakers is kind of annoying though. It's a good aspect, but. You know, you have to really watch your health bots. Right here, we gotta go back. You can't just jump in and get a an attack, just potion could get blocked. Like we're not doing as much damage in this dungeon. It's taking us a while to kill stuff. Let's crit resist. I guess maybe that's it. Monsters have crit resist, so we don't crit them. That's probably why it's taking us a while to take these mobs down. How much it is the butcher? Level 99. Gotta get these elites down first. Though. Get them down, dude. It's just us and the butcher. Pretty tough. Gonna get there. Gonna get out of that. Taking away too much damage. Kill him this time. Maybe. We could get more damage into him. Oh, 
I'm in here. That shield, man. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, he came out of nowhere. Here we go, he beat level 99 Butcher. My bags are full. It's gonna be fun we get to give a level 100 one a try. So our bags are full. Get rid of some junk here. All the loot here, man. My bags are full. Should we go back? I don't really. I doubt those pants are better. Do I have any sacred like of that bow? Is this a neck? It's not a good one. Sacred helm. Look at this. How about these pants? Not good. How about these other pants? Not good. <laughs> Rid of these gloves. Check out this chest. Yeah, it's gonna get vendored as well. You gotta find a bet. There has to be a better way to scan through items. There has to be like certain stats that I want. And then it, and then like the, the item will like glow a certain color depending on how many stats it has. Like if it's red, we'll we'll just vendor it. That's like a hundred percent doesn't have any stats on it. And then if it's like uh, orange or I guess blue, it'll have like one to two stats, and then. If it's like a, if it's green, it has three to four. Something like that would help quite a bit. Where the heck's the last one? Probably down here. So then you just know, right? You just can just get rid of it, and you just pick like what, you know, what stats you want to you want. You can pick like I don't know. Six to seven of them. Two ancestral chest gloves. No, our gloves are all right. Can check these out. Are these any good? Nope. Not with these. Two stats. See, that one would be like blue. It's two stats. The other one would have been red because it doesn't have any stats we want on it. That'd be awesome if they had that. That would make vendoring so fast. And then you could have like a button where, you know, get rid of all the stats. All the items that don't have the stats you want just get, you know, eliminated. My bags are full. Get rid of this. Knee drop. Let's see if those pants are any good now. Got a neck there. Nope. Yeah, it's tough. Getting items you want is tough. Let's travel to the siren's chamber. I need more time. Like all those items would be red. Yes. And then we would just know that we don't want them. How about these ones? These are okay, but no. Or same thing, two stats. It needs time to recharge. Hard to get that third one. 
Yeah, not being able to crit, like, see how much like, we're doing so much less damage. Crit is huge for our build. Not as big as vulnerable damage, but it's, it's big. Okay, we don't want the sacreds. Check out this uh, sword. Oh, even more stuff. This ring we don't want, right? That other sword. This ring we don't want. Mass cage. All right, let's level up uh, ambush again. Got that at 13, couple more levels and then we have it unlocked. Just in, in the unlock, it just increases the radius of the, of the glyph on your paragon board. Let us steal, but when one steal. Oh, well, maybe we got something good here. Well, struck. didn't see too many items when we were looking through it, though. Maybe the legendaries are good. This will do nicely. I'll take it off your hands. Not a bad ring. I don't know if it's better than our other rings, though, but it's not bad. Yeah, probably not. Other rings are better. Alright, let's check out the legendaries. It's bow. Yeah, I don't want that. Ancestral legendary sword. Doesn't have the stats or spec we want. The sword. Same thing. These ancestral legendary gloves. Nope. And another bow. No. Sings on your so we got a lot of uh we vendored a lot of items today well hey at least we got to level 93 but that is going to be the end of today's episode guys as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later